Hello guys, so going to Jazz Tutorials. I will be showing you today a cool effect you can use with your text and the custom shape tools. So let's just get started here. Right now I'm typing just a random letter. I'm typing in J. Um, and you can change the font into whatever you want. It doesn't matter because this effect will, will, will work with any font, guaranteed. Um, I've tried it multiple times. Um, so... Basically, you're going to be using the custom shape tool and you're going to be using the mask layer to create a cool effect on top of the text. Alright, I'm just situating all my colors and text. So you can change the color of your text if you want, whatever. I'm using white, but use whatever you want. Okay, I'm just changing mine to um, an easier font for you to see the effect. So I'm going to use the um, Arial Rounded J. Okay. Yeah, I'll zoom in, of course, just to show you the coolness. Alright, so you're going to go over here to your custom shape tools, which are up at the top. And you're going to select a random custom shape tool, any tool you want is fine. I'm using these um, diagonal lines, the lines, yeah, you can, they're all in there. Everyone's got them, they come custom with the Photoshop, so yeah. Then pick your color you want to use. Um, hopefully you don't use the same color as your text. <laughs> Alright, you'll get that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold the control, control and click on the T for the text. And then hit the mask layer on the shape layer. And look what you got. You got that. Cool. All right, we'll do another one. Now this one's going to be a little bit different because you only have, because you're going to have multiple shape layers. So, I'm going to select now for my second le letter. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, 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 I'm gonna select these flowers, little flowerish things. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, and just place them freely all over your E or whatever letter you use, and you can change the colors if you want. But I just chose red because red's awesome. Yeah, show some red love here. Okay. And as you can see, we have three. We're gonna have three, four different layers for the uh, shape layers. So, once you have all that done, all that coolness, all your effect, and yeah, all right. So, all right, here we go. That's what we're looking now. Then you're gonna go here and Control click on all of your shape layers, all the shape layers you have. And then just do Control E and merge them all together. Just merge your shape layers together like that. There you go. Make it easier on you. And then Control on the T again. <coughs> and then on the shape layer, just hit the mask layer button, as we did before, and it should be like that. There you go. How awesome is that? So pretty much for all of your shape layers, just keep doing that, and you will have that awesome effect for anything you use in the custom shape tool on your text. That is mad awesome, and I bet you're going to love it. Right? Right? Alrighty then. You will love it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, and comment.